Greetings everyone, Master Grogan here. Hope you're having a fantastic day. So today is kicking life, boom, right hook of reality is eliminate the word hate from your vocabulary. Now, is that easy? No, it's not easy. Nothing is easy, we know that, right? Everything's gonna be tough. But I'm telling you that that word hate, and it flies around so frequently now on social media and in conversations and oh my gosh, it's just out there. Well, here's the deal. The more you say a word, the more you focus on a word, the more it's you know in your subconscious mind or your reticular activating system, and the reticular activating system is what brings into focus, what you uh, bring, magnifies, brings into focus, what you think about the most, it's a word you're gonna keep saying. Now, I heard my daughter the other day, she's uh, working on math and she goes, oh, I hate math. And I, and I said, sweetheart, and I, I caught it because I had said hate earlier in the day, I hate this nonsense. But here's the deal, I caught myself. And I want you to do your best to catch yourself. Just like I caught her, I said, sweetie, y y try and eliminate, I know you don't like math, I know this is tough for you, but try and eliminate that word hate from your vocabulary. Simply because before you know it, you're saying I hate this, I hate that, I hate this, I hate that. Before you know it, you hate everything and you don't even realize it. Words are powerful. You know, the tongue doesn't have any bones, but literally it's like the strongest muscle in the body. It can break bones, it can break spirits, it can break hearts, it can crush people. And we know that. So be very, very careful with that word hate. Now here's the deal. If, you, if I plant this seed in your mind now and you start thinking about it, you're gonna be more aware of it. And another thing is we know who we surround ourselves with is who we become. If we surround ourselves with people that are constantly down and negative and oh man, the world's all terrible. I hate this, I hate this politician, I hate this guy. Man, before you know it, that's planting seeds in our brain. As Ziegler, Ziegler says, you know, stinking input, stinking output. What you put in is what you're gonna get out. So if you listen to that stuff, if you're around people that talk that way, if you're around people that smoke all the time, chances are you're going to start smoking. Yeah. If you're around people that drink all the time. Yeah. There's, I mean, you know what? If you have a beverage every once in a while, I mean, I'm a human being. I enjoy that too. But I'm talking about if it's day in and day out, every single day and every single night, and the way your vocabulary is. If you're around somebody who cusses like a sailor before you know it, you're going to be talking that way too. And it's just going to happen. You're not going to realize it. Because once again, what you put in, just like a garden, and you've heard me talk about this before, if you plant onion seeds in your garden, you plant onion seeds, you are getting onions. There's no way you're getting strawberries. You plant strawberries, you're getting strawberries. Same thing with your mind. You plant negativity, you plant hate, you're gonna get that on the other end. That's what you're gonna harvest. That's how it works. You plant positive. Now, it's not easy. And for whatever reason, it seems like negativity is like weeds, right? They pop up everywhere and you can't control them. You're spending all your time you're killing those weeds because you hate them. I said the word hate, didn't I? Remember that. If you catch yourself by saying it, you're not gonna say it as much and it'll change your whole mindset. Same thing, you hear me talk about gratitude and being grateful. You know, wake up and some days you wake up and you're like, oh, I hate Mondays. Don't say it. You may feel it, but change it. What can I do to like Mondays better? Well, if I got a new job. Well, start working toward getting a new job. And don't give me the, oh, it's easy for you to say. Nobody knows the battles other people are fighting. I struggle with, I've got a little bit of anxiety and I struggle with that. I struggle with everything I've got going on with the business. But here's my deal. I try and find the good in every situation. It's not always easy, but by doing that, I'm planting the right seeds. And when you plant the right seeds, you're gonna get the right return. Now, that doesn't mean those weeds and negativity aren't gonna jump up there. They are, but just be very, very careful what you put in there, what you read who you talk to, what you listen to. And you know, folks, how I feel about the news. Either side of the fence, they do not care about you. I call CNN constantly negative network. There's nothing positive that comes out of that. It's all about that word hate. That is their goal. They don't care about you and your feelings. They don't care what happens to you. All they care about is ratings. And the more they plant fear and hate in your mind, the more you wanna watch because now you're scared. And that's what they do. Eliminate that garbage. Get that out of there. That's weeds in your garden. You work hard on that garden. And once again, as Zig Ziglar says, you know, if you got stinking input, you're going to have stinking output. I want you to have positive input so you can have positive output. Easier said than done? Yeah, so is everything. But do your best. Consciously think about it. Start working that way. Because once again, if it's in your subconscious mind, especially if it's the last thing you think about before you go to bed, or it's the first thing you think about when you wake up in the morning, you're going to have an awful day do better than that. And here's the thing, you know, I shared this with you, with you, December of last year, I was baptized, born again Christian, 
Doesn't mean I'm flawless. My gosh, I've got more mistakes. I keep making mistakes and I keep fighting myself to do a better job. But here's the deal. My spiritual side, I feel so much better about myself. Reading the Bible, reading, you know, as much time as we spend on Facebook and social media, spend a little bit of that time on, on reading the Bible, reading Proverbs, reading something positive. It's, it's, it's life changing. It doesn't mean days aren't going to be tough. It doesn't mean you're not going to have anxiety. It doesn't mean you're not going to have battles. It doesn't mean you're not going to be tempted to say the word hate. Those temptations are out there. You know, the devil walks the earth, right? Yeah, he's amongst us. But here's the deal. It gives you something in your corner, someone in your side, someone there to help support you. And he's always there for you. So there you go. Eliminate the word hate. Be kind. Pray a little more often. And I promise it'll start taking that trickle effect. It'll start making the Little by little, little by little, you can do it. Short and easy today, that's what I got for you. Share this message with somebody who could benefit from this message, and by all means, try and catch yourself. Before you say, I hate this, don't say it. You're better than that. All right, folks, till we talk again, you get out there and do your best, and I promise you'll be your very best. God bless you, God bless your loved ones. I can't wait to chat with you again real soon. Have a blessed day, everybody. Bye-bye.